Hi, my name is Pastor Martin Semper. I want to talk to you why I think there's trouble coming ahead for Tamale Mirundi Jr. I want to give you a few reasons why I think his disrespect, dishonor, abuse of his family leadership, which has sought to reconcile with the kingdom, and his subsequent dishonor, blasphemy, is going to lead to a curse that will demand an, an early death. Now, for those of you who don't know, Tamale Mirundi was a, a spinner in Uganda. He was a propagandist. And amongst the people that he annoyed was the king of Bugada, the Kabaka. He also annoyed the whole kingdom. And he did what we would say is blasphemy against the leadership of the kingdom. The word of God says in Exodus chapter 23, do not blaspheme against God or speak ill against the leader of your people. Now, there was really no justified reason for Tamale Milon to do that. And it was on in August when he passed away, his older brother, Mr. Johnny Sal Sally, during the Requiem Mass, extended a hope. He said that, I hope that I can be able to get a chance to meet with the leadership of Buganda and extend our, I think, Okwenenya, to seek to make peace by asking for forgiveness. And he spoke well. He spoke, he said, my father, my, my brother was very good. This was the older brother. He says, my brother was very good, but sometimes he annoyed some people. And I think that we want to make sure that that curse doesn't stay on us. And so on the 19th of this month, September, they wrote to the Katikir of Buganda, the Honorable Charles Peter Maiga, who gave them a meeting on the 25th. That's about five days ago. So the family of uh, Tamale Mirundi, led by his older brother, John Sally, with his uh, sisters and aunties and wives, they gathered together and they brought their apology to the king, to the Kabaka, and to the kingdom. And there was good reconciliation. You can see the behind on my screen. There was a certificate that was issued by the Kabaka and it was like, we're so glad. Tamale Mirundi had great relatives. So now, the, the son, I saw a video that was troubling so much to me today, put out, of a family meeting. When the son saw this happening, he went on social media and with bloggers, and he said, this was foolish, this is stupid. He will never do that. He will never apologize. He can never, because he said that uh, if uh, Joseph Cohen has never apologized, he can't apologize. If Malia Mungu was one of Idi Amin's henchmen has never apologized, then he wouldn't apologize. He spoke many erratic words. He says, oh, I honor my father. My father will be very disappointed with me if I apologize. And I want to approach that and say, you know what? The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 6, he says, children, obey your parents in the Lord because this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise, so that it may go well with you and that you may live a long life in the land. Now, the truth is, we are given a caveat. When God says, honor your mother and father, we're given a caveat. We are told that we should do the right things that are God glorifying. If your parent tells you to kill, if your parent tells you to commit a crime, if your parent tells you to slay, if your parent tells you to go do drugs, if your parent tells you to, to abuse the king in disregard of God's word, he is telling you to do the wrong thing. And we are told that if you do that, you will live a long life. Now, the parents, the brothers, the family of Tamale Milun Jr. have gone to ask for forgiveness and they've done. And what has he done? He's disregarded them. He's abused them. That's horrible. What that means is that he's under a curse. God has spoken in many places. That if you are in dishonor and in disregard of your parents, Proverbs chapter 23 verse 22 is a curse. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 3, there's a curse. Um, Deuteronomy 21 verse 18, 21, there's a curse. 
In fact, in uh, Proverbs 23, verse 22, let me read that for you. Proverbs 23 talks about birds eating you, taking out your eyes out. My goodness, this is not good. It means that your life will not be long. You will not live a long life, Mr. Tamale Mirundi Jr. I mean, God doesn't want sinners to die in their sins. He wants you to repent. That's why I'm speaking, making this video for my friend Kasuku, who is apparently the guardian in the media, and Tamale Mirundi Jr., who I count as a friend, but is misguided and needs to be corrected. This is what he says, Proverbs chapter 23, verses 22. He says, 23, excuse me, I'm in the wrong place. Proverbs 23, verses 22. This is what he says. Listen to your father who gave you life, and don't despise your mother when she is old. Okay, now, this particular one talks about don't don't despise your parents even if they're old they don't have too much money like let's go down to 2020 is the one that i was trying to get to 20 proverbs chapter 20 verse 20 it says whoever curses his parents his lamp will go out in darkness his lamp will go out in darkness that's terrible that's horrible your lamp will be it will not shine and then and then the last one proverbs chapter 30 verse 17 this is one of the last one it's a bit graphic what does it say proverbs 30 verse 17 it says as for the eye that ridicules a father and despises obedience to the mother or parents the ravens of the valley will pluck it out and the young vultures will eat it. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's horrible. That's absolutely horrible. I mean, also in Deuteronomy 21, 18, 21, he also tells us what to do with the rebellious son. If he's, you've tried to correct him, you've tried to straighten him out, he does not hear responses of the parents, he's supposed to be taken outside the city and stoned to death. So it is a capital crime. You know, there are sins, offenses that are not capital. They are miscellaneous, mis I mean, they are misdemeanors. Like urinating on the side of the road. That's a misdemeanor. But disobeying parents, because you see, the parent represent the government of God. And defying parents in rightful orders and their lawful commands is an abuse and an offense against God. So, I'm worried and I want to say to Tamale Mirundi Jr., you will not live long. You will not live long because you brought a curse of God on your life. And that's terrible. We want to see you live long. You're a young person. You're still young. So I'm asking everybody next to you, Kasuku and others, those who are friends, please speak to Tamale Mirundi Jr. to stop this nonsense. Oh, I'm left because they dismissed him for his rebellion from the clan. They said, when you get yourself right and are willing to repent and are willing to do right, we will receive you back. So, oh, no, I don't care about you. I know that in, lastly in the book of uh, 2 Timothy, Chapter 3, verse 2. Paul talks about the there's a certain group of young people in the last days who are very rebellious, who are very disobedient. This is what he says. Therefore, holy. No, that's, I'm, I mean, I mean Hebrews, my God. I'm trying to be in Timothy. Timothy chapter 3, verses 1. He says, But know this, hard times will come in the last days. For people like Tamale Mirun Jr. will be lovers of self. He's got this group of, uh, is it, what, what is that group that he's with? Chicken, what? Sisters, brothers? Sisters. For people will be lovers of self, lovers of money, boastful. That's exactly what I see of him. Proud, demeaning, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy, unloving, irreconcilable irreconcilable unwilling to reconcile slanderers without self-control brutal without love for what is good they don't like what is good 
We talk about the chitiwa cha Buganda. They love kali tuchukumenga. They love for what is good. They are traitors. They are reckless. They are conceited. That's what I'm talking about. Conceited. Lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God. Holding a form of godliness but denying its power. They appear as if they are good. They appear as if they respect God. Oh, I love my parents. No, you don't. If you're not willing to live and amend for the error that your father did. And now your parents today, they are telling you, Tamale Mirun Jr., you got to do this right. He says, avoid these people. For among them are those who warm their way into household and deceive gullible women, overwhelmed with their sins. Now, these are people who, who deceive the naive. They take them process by process. No, we will not be. No, we, no, 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 no. No, Tamale Mirundi, even for us, we can discern an error, we can correct an error, and we can see that you are in deep trouble. You will not live long. You will not live out your full life the vultures will eat your eyes. The curse of God follows you. Why? Because you've dishonored your parents, your clan, and your leadership of the kingdom. You will not. So I beg of you, those of you around this young man, please speak to him. Let him repent. Let him leave the, the attitude of pride. There's also many other young people also proudful like you. Let them repent. Bene ye. Put it right in before God that you may live a long life. Ephesians 6, chapter, chapter 6, verse 1 to 3. Children, obey your parents in, in the Lord. There's a disclaimer. That you may live long. It's the first commandment with a promise to live long. If you don't, you will not live your life. There's a rope you've put around yourself. There's a curse you've put around yourself. Finally, there is a word that says, That one which will die, it doesn't even hear when you blow the trumpet. Ooh, now I'm blowing the trumpet. But at least your blood will not be on my hands. I know you are my friend. Kasuku, you are my friend. But at least the blood will not be on my hands. I will have warned you that what you've done is very bad. You've committed treason against God. Go and make things right with your family with your elders. We pray that God will do us. Father, in Jesus' name, we pray that the heart of Tamale Mirundi Jr. will be softened, that he will make peace with his family, and he will not be rebellious and conceited as we see of him, and that he will honor you in keeping your commands so that he may live a long life. But if he doesn't, we pray that God, you will afflict him where he is. That he will suffer like the prodigal son. That the party that he's having will end. There will be no money. He will be like the prodigal son who ran away from home. As he's away, there was a famine. May there be a famine where he is. May there come upon him that he will end up working amongst pigs and cows. And say, yeah, we, the pigs are eating better than me. Let me go back to my parents. Let him, oh God, let Tamale Mirundi Jr. suffer. So that in his suffering, he will get the sense to go back to his, his father, uncle, John Sally, and the rest of the family and the clan and make peace. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.